To find out exactly how much battery you have left on your iPhone 10, you need to bring down the control center from the top right of the screen. There you will have a percentage indicator. You can also enable a low battery mode from the control center, but you have to add it to your control center first. To do that, go to settings, then control center, followed by customized controls. One of the additional options here is low power mode. If you add that to your control center, so it's now in the top list, and then bring down the control center again, you have this new battery icon. If you tap it, it will turn a yellow color. And now that will do things such as not fetch as many notifications and generally lower the battery usage on your device iPhone 10 uses different screen technology to other iPhones in that it's an OLED display. That means black pixels are turned off so it doesn't actually use any power, which means that you could effectively use dark mode on the iPhone 10 to attempt to save power. To set dark mode, go to settings, then go to general followed by accessibility. You'll next want display accommodations and then invert colors. And here you have smart inverts and now it goes to dark mode. So all of these pixels here that were previously white are now black. So it'll use a lot less power. Obviously give it a try because it makes your iPhone look a little weird on screens, but it might save you a lot of power if you desperately need to. Now if you want to try and save even more power in smart mode or dark mode, you can then put the color filters on to put it into grayscale. To do this, just back up from the invert colors option. So you're now on display accommodations color filters, turn on color filters, and that will turn on grayscale mode. So now everything is either in black or gray, which may save you even more power. But again, you're making your iPhone look fairly limited. When your iPhone is locked and you pick it up, that automatically turns on the screen because of the raise to wake feature. If you want to turn it off and save a little bit of battery, go to settings, then go to display and brightness and turn off raise to wake. Also the auto lock feature here. This is how long it takes for the screen to turn off and lock your device. You can set that all the way down to 30 seconds. So again, if you're not using your iPhone, it locks quicker and saves more battery. There is also another lock screen feature called tap to wake, whereby you tap on the screen and it shows you the lock screen, but you can turn that off as well if you need to. To do that, you would go to settings, then general, followed by accessibility and scroll down until you see tap to wake. This may be for if you have inadverted taps of the screen when it's in your pocket and it may just be using up a little bit of battery showing a lock screen that you never see. In terms of power hungry applications, Facebook is fairly notorious for this on iPhones. If you're a heavy user, it can use up to 20 or 25% of your total battery. So if you can live without Facebook, you can uninstall it from your iPhone and maybe use Safari Facebook or one of the lighter versions of Facebook that are available on the App Store. If you say, hey Siri, and this screen appears, that means it's always listening for you saying that phrase. So it's using up battery through the microphone. To turn it off, go to settings, scroll down to Siri and search and toggle off, listen for Hey Siri. Your iPhone often wants to know where you are so it can provide you help with things like weather and traffic. You can change the settings though by going to settings, then privacy and then location services. Now you can turn the whole thing off if you want to as that's using GPS, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so that would save you a lot of battery. But of course that's going to make your iPhone much less useful. So you can do it through an app by app basis. If you tap on any app, you get options for never or while using the app and some will always use it such as weather but again you can change that so fiddle about with the settings if you feel as if your iPhone is being a little bit too invasive and using too much power. Also note on the screen you can go to system services and scroll down and there are options here like iPhone analytics do you really want to send them you may want to toggle it off again plenty of options here to have a look around and if you want to know when your iPhone is using location services you can toggle it there and now you get a little icon next to the clock. There are two sharing features called AirDrop and Handoff, which could be using a little bit of battery because they're always on. To turn them off, go to General. AirDrop is to share things to contacts instantly, and Handoff is to share things with different iOS devices that you might have. So if you don't have any more, you might as well turn it off as well. If you're not getting any benefit from LTE speeds because you're in a poor location or because your carrier is generally rubbish, your iPhone might be switching from 3G to LTE and using up battery. So you could turn off LTE coverage if you wanted to. To do that, go to cellular 
then cellular data options, voice and data, and you can switch it right here. It goes without saying that any sounds that come from your iPhone are gonna use up battery, so of course use headphones wherever you can. You've also got the silent mode that immediately turns off all sounds on the side of the iPhone, but we can also look at some of the settings. If we go into sound and haptics, you can reduce the volume of the ringer alert if you want to. We've also got vibrate on ring and silent using the motor to vibrate the device. Is it gonna use battery? And one final thing, if you go down to music and then check the equalizer, that uses up a little bit of battery as well, so turn it off if you're not specifically using the equalizer to play music. As beautiful as live wallpapers are to look at, they do consume a battery, so you may want to turn them off by going to settings and then wallpaper. And if you do choose another wallpaper, such as a still, something else you may want to check it's not turned on is perspective. That's where the wallpaper moves slightly as you move your device about. Again, you don't really want that turned on, so make sure it's set to still. Again, something else to consider with a wallpaper is that you could have a completely black wallpaper by saving a black wallpaper in your photo gallery. So now we benefit once again from having those black pixels which are turned off and your background is gonna look a little boring, but it may save battery. Another small graphical change can be found in the settings. Go to General, Accessibility, and scroll down to Reduce Motion. If you toggle that on, it's a little less graphical intensive now because when I go back to the home screen, you'll notice there's no quick swipe animation. It's just scrolling, and then when I open up another animation, again, it's fading in. So it's just a quicker way of doing things and using a little less graphical power. When you swipe down on your home screen, this brings up Spotlight Search, and this constantly indexes your applications to help you do searches. That uses a battery, so if you don't think you're going to use this feature, you can turn it off by going to Settings, scrolling down to Siri and Search, and you have the option here, Suggestions in Search and Suggestion in Lookup. You can turn this off on a device level, or you can go through independent applications and turn it off at that level if you need to. Notifications mean that applications are checking the internet for whenever there are new alerts. That can use battery, so if you want to turn off notifications for any particular applications, go to Settings, Notifications, and then you can tap on, for example, Facebook, and turn off notifications if you wanted to. And finally, of course, it's always worth checking out the battery screen itself. You have the low power mode there if you want to enable it, although you can do it through the control center. But you also have a breakdown here of what's using the most battery on your device at the moment. Obviously, I've been in the settings a lot for this video, so that's taken up the most battery. You can set this by last 24 hours and last seven days if you want to. And also, if you tap on the clock, that will give it as a how much on-screen time has been used as well. If you found that these are quick iPhone 10 battery saving tips useful, make sure to check out my complete guide that includes over 100 more tips and tricks on the iPhone 10. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more rapid fire content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.